the Food and Drug Administration has declared teen vaping an epidemic. Today, more than 3.6 million middle and high school students say they regularly vape using electronic cigarettes. These devices can be as small as a USB drive and cost less than $20. Even the vaping industry itself appears to be troubled by the trend. Kevin Burns, CEO of Juul Labs Incorporated, the maker of the best-selling e-cigarette in the U.S., apologized to parents with addicted children in the CNBC documentary Vaporized, America's e-cigarette addiction. I hope there was nothing that we did that made it appealing to them. Many e-cigarettes are sold featuring sweet, fruity flavors reminiscent of candy. And while e-cigarettes don't contain tobacco, they're full of highly addictive nicotine extracted from tobacco leaves. The battery of an e-cigarette sends electronic currents to heat up the nicotine-rich oil. Once the oil becomes hot enough, it converts into vapor, which is then puffed or inhaled from the device. For young people whose brains are not yet fully developed, vaping can lead to nicotine addiction, mood disorders, and permanent lowering of impulse control. It took decades for the effects of cigarettes to emerge, and e-cigarettes have only been on the market since 2006. And while the lasting effects haven't been fully researched, vaping is clearly a serious health risk for growing children and teens.